Okay, sir. That I did tell you, if you're gonna be biting, you're gonna have to have a no-no mask. Hang in there. Okay. Husband's just arrived to give me a hand. Here I come to save the day. I think he's fine. He looks like he's going to sleep. <laughs> you think he's fine? Wait till you watch this video back. I don't know what all the fuss is about. So far, so good. Let's say hello. Hello, over here. Oh, thank you. Hey, fur family. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Guyly from Furology. Oh, hello. This is Obi. Obi. Obi's been a bit of a cheeky boy at home. I don't know if you guys can see, okay. Obi's been a cheeky boy at home. He has, he's a um, Cocker Spaniel cross with Poodle. Aren't you? And he's just hit about one year old. He's, um, he's all knotty and matted everywhere. And he's been a real cheeky boy about being brushed at home and just in general being a bit of a, little bit of a jerk for mum and the family. He's been biting, um, up to no good and just really not wanting to do what he's supposed to do. So um, these guys are not like, they're generally pretty good. We've been able to do longer cuts on Obi before. So, um, you know, they're having a hard time and they've reached out and for another groom and um, explained his behavior and sort of suggested that we might need a muzzle because that like their experience at home with brushing him has been pretty, obviously a little bit hard for everybody. So um, what, we've, what we're gonna do today, like, and you can see he's a happy, sweet boy. He's just being, um, he doesn't want to be brushed, he doesn't want to be groomed because obviously it's a little bit painful um, and you can see that they've cut some chunks out of him. Have a look here on his leg. Poor little love. Everyone's been trying to do what they can to help him but it's just not working. So what we're going to do today is go super short all over, super short all over and just clean him up. That's his ears. I don't know about his tail yet. Um, his legs are pretty badly matted up. His chest, you can see they've taken some chunks out here. We have a look. Oh, you don't like it, do you? Some chunks out here. We're just trying to, they're just trying to get on top of everything and it hasn't worked out. So we're gonna go nice and short. Mum's gonna keep brushing him two to three times a week, even though there's not gonna be any hair there. She's gonna work on building up a positive experience with his home grooming again. So um, if you do have to get your dog cut back real short like that, still brush them. Um, set up a time when you sit down with them you know, and I always say this when you're watching telly at night or whatever, put them on your lap and do this nice brushing and give them this nice little pamper like this. Be all over them, love on them, give them some treats, eh? Hey, yes. And um, make it really nice and make it something that they want to do each day. I'm going to cuddle you. Yes, I am. Keep your liquor to yourself, though. Well, keep that liquor in your own mouth. Yes. So, we will get going because otherwise I'll stand here and cuddle him all day and we won't do any grooming. Okay, you stay there. You stay there and get my clippers. Go away. So, um, I don't have any idea how he's going to react. He's obviously had a pretty big temperament change. Um, all these little boy hormones. He's not desexed yet. They're wanting to get him desexed. Um, but all these little boy hormones would have gone a little bit haywire and crazy and he's become this big man of a dog but he doesn't quite know his manners just yet. It's a confusing time in life, isn't it? Hey, yeah, yeah. Coming up to having teenage, a teenage boy myself, got a nearly teenage daughter and my little boy, and my goodness, they can be firecrackers. All right, mister. So I'm not gonna muzzle him first. I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna give him my trust We've had some pats and cuddles. He knows I'm here. I'm here for love. Yes. Yeah, is that good? Is that so good? It's because you've got knots in there. I'm going to take them off for you and go feel good. Are you going to feel good? Yeah. Good boy. That's my clips. No. You're going to be a good boy for me while I do this. Yes, you are. I'm going to give you my trust and my love. And you're going to be a respectful young man. You understand? Yes, good boy. I'm going to lift this up a little bit higher. Don't you be getting grumpy with me, you understand? A little bit higher. So I am just gonna try and give him the benefit of the doubt. Stop that now. So this is an area where other people have already been in there, probably with clippers that don't really um, cut. They probably do a lot of pulling. 
um, which happens a lot with home clippers, the kind that you get from Big W, for example, or like, this, you know, if they're not a professional quality clipper, they're just not going to do a professional quality job. And um, unfortunately, that's a big um, contributor to dogs having some of the fears that they have of grooming. Uh, is because what's happened at home is it's just been traumatic in a way and that's not having a go at anyone that's grooming their dogs at home if your dog if you're able to do it safely and without your dog being upset and you've got equipment that's suitable for the job then that's amazing and you should do that you should keep your dogs clean and healthy and do what you can do to look after them um, but if your equipment's not quite right and you've just got all this pulling happening and you're pulling on their skin and their coats um, all we're doing is just making a really unpleasant experience for the dog and you can see he's anxious he wants to know what I'm doing what's going on and I'll just stop there and show you what's happening here so that's felted that's just coming off it's not as bad as I've seen before but you're okay look at that does that feel good oh yes does that feel good see I'm gonna make you feel better and you're gonna appreciate it yeah so you can see that that is just kind of peeling away we're just gonna go, yeah, you calm down. I'm just gonna go nice. I'm sorry if my arm's in the way of what's happening here. I'm just gonna go nice and slow. At some point I fully expect he's gonna turn around and snap at me. I'm waiting for that, which is why I'm working from behind. He can't, he can if he really wants to, but if he was just being, having a reactive like that, I, I pulled his, hair or something like that he wouldn't snap quite so ferociously as if he really wanted to hurt me so I'm just gonna go nice and slow is that nice remind him that what we're doing is nice and I know I don't know I know I get a lot of comments from you guys in my other videos which I love I've been trying to reply to everybody so if I've missed you don't fear I'm gonna get there um, but I love seeing all those comments people are noticing that I talk to my doggies and like kid cats I do I talk to everyone as much as I can um, I do zone out sometimes like I'm, I am at work so sometimes I might zone out for a minute thinking about what I've got to cook for dinner or which kids homework I've got to try and do but in general I try to stay as connected as I can with my doggies and that helps them they hear us they hear us talking talking to them just being present and that helps them. Doesn't that, Baba? And we've got some knots here. Gentle, gentle. Good boy. See, we're just going to do little bits at a time. Yeah, that's naughty there, huh? Gentle. Come around here. Okay. Just be gentle. And you keep your teepees to yourself. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. My nose is itchy. I want to scratch my nose. Oh, I had to do it. Okay. So you can see we're just working through some tangles here. Is that good though? Does that feel so good? Okay. Does that feel so good? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to move that out the way for you. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Stand up for me, please, sir. Thank you, my darling. Can I turn you just this way? That's it. Okay, gentle. Gentle. Good boy, thank you. Now you go easy on me, all right? Oh, I almost wanted to belt out that song. Nobody wants to hear me sing, though. <laughs> Good boy, take it easy now. Nice and gentle. So we've got a lot of matting through here. That's really felted. It's pulling. Good baba. Just relax. Do I have a snoofle? You can have a snoofle. So we know we've got a lot of matting through here. So 
So it's been a little while since his last stream, but honestly, it wasn't that long ago. I'll have to have a look and see if I got it written down, his last stream. I've changed from like a pen and paper diary to a computer system. So um, we're in the process. This is his first groom since my changeover. Can I get you to put your head somewhere else, please? Hey, hey, leave that. Oh my goodness, all right. So you can see here, we're just working this um, felted hair down. I'm not pulling at anything because that is gonna upset me. But what I am gonna do is just tighten this up and just for my safety, I'm just gonna limit the movement of his head because this is a sensitive area for dogs and if he's gonna snap around and bite, he's not gonna quite be able to reach me. All the clipper blades. And he is an entire male as well, so we do need to be careful back there of what we're handling. All right, so we're just gonna go at it little by little. See, he's uncomfortable. Come on, come on ya, put that down. Thank you. If you stay still, I can be very careful. I'm just moving his testicles to one side with my hand so that I'm not going to catch any skin. Yeah, so this is pretty bad. This is actually pretty bad here. Ugh. Hey, good boy. You're doing great, you are. Look at that little tail wagging. Does that feel so good? You want to give this a scratch here? Oh, yeah, is that good? That's good. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna change that blade over, it's getting a tad bit warm. Just a little bit. You're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah, have a high five. High five. No high fives, okay. Okay, I high five myself. Yay, up you get. Up, 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 good boy. So we just, when we're working with him, we just wanna be super delicate and just try to encourage him to make some good choices. Put that down. No, put that put that down. I saw teethies then. I don't appreciate that, young man. Can I give you my teethies? Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. No, sir. No, sir. No. Ah uh, ba 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 ba. No. I want to get that off for you. It's going to be much nicer if I do. Don't give me attitude either because I won't take it. Let me just check that you guys can see here. Okay, I'm gonna hold this leg up. Where's your boy bits? Okay, now you keep them teepees to yourself. We're gonna get this done. Okay, I'm gonna be the boss today, and I know you're scared. So you just know that I'm not scared, and I know that everything's fine. And then you know that everything's fine. Okay, this is quite knotted here. I'm just gonna try and break that off. There we go. You guys see? I don't know, you can't really see, can you? Let's stop and adjust this, because you can't see what I'm doing. Put that down there. This is a um, little tripod contraption that my lovely husband has provided me today. We're really trying to work out these camera angles, but it's bloody tough. So I'm doing the head camera, but you can't quite see what I'm doing. I haven't got it right yet, so I do apologise. Definitely working on it. Stay there, sir. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Come here. Good boy. There we go. Okay. Now just be calm. Be calm now. Good boy. You see that? We don't have anything to worry about. You don't need to watch me. I have got this under control. Just relax. That's it. Oh, don't you be snarling. Don't be snarling at me. Nice and easy, all right? I'm just gonna be gentle, nice and slow. There's no rush here. That's the way. Look at it, see, it's coming off. Last little bit here. I know it's a bit tough. There's little tendons there. Be so careful. Okay. Keep your teepees to yourself. So coming down to the foot now. 
A lot of doggies don't like that. They're under good condition. So I'm going to pull his leg back here, straighten it out. And what I'm doing is just limiting his options for biting me. Because he wants to. He's not happy about this. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, sir. Would you like a break? So for me, it's important when a dog snaps like that to not let, not move away from them. Don't move away from them, okay? We need to show him we're still here. I'm not gonna move away if you snap at me. I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna give you a break. I'm gonna talk about it. You don't need to do that, okay? But I'm not gonna give him distance because he's snapping at me. You gotta stop that. Is that a bit uncomfortable? It's okay. I want to listen to you. Yeah, I'm going to listen to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that that hurt. You're going to be okay? Yeah, I'm sorry that that hurt a little bit. You all right? Good boy. I am sorry. So this is going to be tricky. It is going to be tricky. You're going to be fine. Promise. You're going to be just fine. So, I'm just going to put this up a bit higher again. Oh, it's my face. Oh, it's not working. There we go. There we go. Then we can see. Hey, you grumpy with me? That's okay. That's okay. You can be a bit grumpy with me. I'm gonna go on this side now. Come over here. I'm gonna put him here. Move back just a little bit there. All right. You ready? So you guys, did you see, even though he snapped at me, he couldn't reach me, so um, in some of my videos, especially the walkie video, there's so many comments about that um, tether being like pulled tight and it is honestly, yes, it can be so hard to watch. So while I'm grooming these babies, I am so concentrated on so many things and one of them is when they're panting. When they're panting here, I'm looking at those little tongues. If they're pale, then they're not getting enough oxygen, okay? And there's something gone wrong. But if they're nice and pink, and there's moisture on them, which this little guy is, you see that little pink tongue there? Nice and pink. Yes, everything's all right, okay? I mean, there's lots that we're monitoring. We're monitoring that their movements and body are all fine, which his is, he's just grumpy. Um, but, and yes, that's tight, but it's tight for a reason. So it's tight for my safety, but also for his. If he bites a pair of scissors or a clipper blade that's in motion, oh my goodness, the damage that can be done there is so, so terrible. It is not something that anybody wants to, I, I, if that happened to me, I don't, I'd never forgive myself for a dog doing that. So um, t yeah, it's not me. And, and it's not selfish of me to not want to be bitten by a dog, but also um, it's not me sort of thinking about myself. It's me thinking about myself and the dog's safety and doing what I know is um, best and works best for me. Don't you dare, mister, to keep us both safe. All right, so he's not liking me going that way. So we're gonna swap and we'll change it up a bit. We'll have a look at this ear. There's a lot of matting on this ear. You, okay, you can't be cranky with me the whole groom. You can, but I wouldn't appreciate it that much, to be honest. Can you just waggle your wiggle that way? That's it, there we go. Nice and easy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. So, we definitely know we've got matting. There we go. 
So we're just supporting that ear as we come off the edge. Ah, stir. No, we won't be doing that. Oh, mister. <gasps> mister. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. You can't do that. Because you'll have to get a no-no mask on. Do you need to have a no-no mask on or you gonna be a good boy for me? I would like you to be a good boy for me, but if you're going to be biting, you're going to have to have no-no mask on. Hmm? I don't want to have to put a no-no mask on you because I thought you were going to be a good boy for me. I thought you were going to be a good boy for me. What happened? Hmm? Are you trying to be assertive? I don't think that's a good idea for you, my love. No, I don't like these teethies of yours. I don't like them. These are my hands. My hands. They are for loves. My hands are for loves. You can't bite them. Hmm? You snappy boy? You being a snappy boy? Is that what's happening here? You're being a snappy boy? So that's what came off his ear. That's what he's grumpy about. All that pulling and moving. Tangling. So, snappy boy. All right, what we're gonna do, because I wanna work around his face, we're gonna give him the no-no mask. But, I'm gonna, let's try this. Let's try this one, see this? Oh, boop. Let's have a look. So this is quite big. He's got a lot of room in here to pant away. Let's see if it'll fit him. I don't think it will, it's gonna be too big. Too big. Let me see that again. Don't be dramatic about it. I'm fine. Sir, come on. That, I did tell you, if you're gonna be bitey, you're gonna have to have a no-no mask. And were you being bitey? Did you give me bites when I asked you not to? You did, and that's, we have to do this now. Okay? Because you can't go biting, that's mean. That's so mean, mister. I'm just going to work around here now. Let me just make sure you can see what we're doing. Alright, so. You're going to have to behave yourself. Okay? You can't have that kind of behaviour. Because someone will get hurt. I, it might be me, it might be you. All right, but either way, we can't be doing that. So this muzzle is huge. It's not really uh, offering a huge amount of protection, but it's just gonna slow him down, have him think about his decisions a little bit. And at least he can pant away and do all the dog stuff he needs to do. So this is, this is like the join of the neck and the un this way and the ear and it's tricky. And we've got this here in the way, I'm trying to work around. There we go. So I want this part here so I can try and break off this particular section of matting. Now, don't you get snappy with me. No, sir. I'm going to change this over quick. Stay there. Ah, stay. Good boy. Good boy. You wagging your tail. That's good to see. I would rather you were happy than not happy. All right, now there's one thing you've got to understand here, my love. Only one of us is in charge and it's not you. Okay, when I know you're mad. I know when you need to have a little break. I'm gonna listen to you. But don't tell me with your teeth, okay? You tell me with your eyes. You say, Kylie, I need to have a break, man. Don't say, I'm gonna bite you, because that's mean. So mean. I don't like it. Alright, don't get mad. I'm just going to pull this down so I can try and get it off. Oh, there we go. Is that nice? So again, felted. You can. It's felted because it's felted like a blanket. It's one little piece. That's what you see on the outside and you're like, oh, look at that shaggy dog. But what that means is you got all these knots so severe that it's made a blanket underneath and you don't want that on your dog. That's bad. I'm just going to pick up these hairs here, okay? So now I'm going to try and move down his leg. And because this muzzle is so big, it's not quite tight enough here. 
um, I'm going to use that with my hands underneath. I'm going to keep his head that way and it does look mean but you wait till you see him snap at me. Because this is a lot of matting. We might even have to go to a 10 to get through this. I'm going to try and get him to stand up so that I'm not catching any underarm flaps of skin. So I have moved down under his belly. I can't see. Because that's just where the clippers were taking us, so we're going to roll with it. This is really flappy skin here. See this flap here? That's um, very, very fragile skin there. And very easy to pick up in these little clipper blades. And it's got hair growing on both sides of it, so it's very tricky to get into. And then, of course, his penis is in there somewhere too. You're fine. Take it easy now. You gonna be a good boy for me? Come on, we talked about this. Okay, we have a deal here. Well, I do. I think you're just trying to keep it together for me. And you're doing a good job. You're gonna be a good boy. That's it. There we go. Look, it's coming down. There we go. See that? That's good. Now we can go from this side. Okay, I know. Sensitive. I gotcha. See that? See that communication there? You asked me. You said, that's enough now. I'm going to listen to you when you do that, okay? Hey, don't be so sad. When you talk to me, I'm going to listen to you. All right? Did you see that? You used your body language and not those teethies. You want a break? I'll give you a break. How's that? How's that sound? Yeah? Good boy. I know it's going to be a hard day for you. It's going to be a hard day for you. But you know I do this because I love you, yeah? I want you to feel better. And I promise with all these little tangles and pulls at the end, it's going to be so much better. Okay? You just go into your little happy place. Try and find some comfort somewhere. Yeah? We're going to do this. And you're going to be fine. Have you had a nice little break now? Because we've got to get, keep going. We do. Can we turn you around this way a little bit? I'm going to have a look under your chest now. Okay. Just trust me. I'm going to be as gentle as I can. I promise. So when we go under his chest, some, especially these uh, poodle crossbreeds, have a lot of extra skin here. And they get like a flap. He doesn't have that flap, which is fantastic news. It's going to make it much easier to get under here. Alright baby, I'm going to take this off for a second. I'm going to take this off for a second. Yeah. We are putting this back on. Okay, because you've been doing no-nos. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just relax for me. Thank you, sir. You don't get mad at me. Okay. So I'm taking that off. I don't want to. Because it's another line of defense. But what I need to do is get a good hold of him here. I'm going to come down. I'm going to change this camera around because it is really not good there. It's just all on the wrong side. Let's have a look. Okay. So we're going to try and come in here. I've got him on the bridge of his nose and across his jawbone, not his throat, all right? He is going to get mad because this hurts and it's a sensitive area. There's lots of pulling. So we're going to go easy on him. Just work our way through. Make sure that's not hot. Nice and slow. No, on this side. I know. I know, sir. I'm going to do this because it's going to make you feel better. I promise. Good boy. So just being careful up around where those ears are because you can't quite tell what's what there with that matting. I'm not trying to get in there just yet. And obviously it's painful because that's where he tried to bite me before. Good boy. Okay, so I'm going to show him now. We're going to show him that that feels much better. See that? Is that much better? It is. All right, we're going to keep going now, okay? So see here? We've got that dip there and that dip there. That makes it tricky to get the hair out without pushing and hurting him. So I'm going to go this way. 
and it's quite heavily matted in there. Obviously, it's been a friction point for him. And then eventually we're going to end up under his arms. That's going to make him nervous again. You see that? Did you see him ten tense up there? You're doing great, my darling. I'm going to come across the shoulder here and not worry about what's happening up here just yet. And again, we're heading towards those arms and underarms, so he's going to tense up again. And if he does try to bite, I can't let him go because he's not tethered anymore. So he could fall off the table and hurt himself. We don't want that. Okay. You're doing great, my darling. You're doing such a good job. I know you're mad at me. I do. I'm sorry that you have to be mad at me. I'm sorry. You're going to be fine. Just in the end. I know it's a hard yard. You got this. You do. Okay, you're going to be great. You, look, does that feel so much better already? Does that feel so much better? Yeah. Let's just stick with that for now, okay? You're going to feel great. Oh, honeykins, I can see it in his eyes. He wants to be so mad at me. You want to shake that off? You want to do a big shake? Is your tail wagging again? Oh, I'm happy to see your tail wag. Yes, I am. Oh, darling. You're going to give me a big kiss? Come on. Down you... Oh, thank you. Come on. Get down. Get down. You're, you're very welcome. That's him. He's saying thank you. He knows. He's trying to know. I don't know if you've ever had um, anxiety. I'm giving him a little break for a minute as well. Let him enjoy this for a minute. See this? These scratches there. That is so good for him. He just loves that. Um, I don't know if you've ever had anxiety, like an anxiety attack or just generalized anxiety. Um, oh, what's going on there? Put this up a bit again. I, I live with anxiety um, and depression. I've got hair everywhere. I live with anxiety and depression. And I, I just know, just quickly, because um, I just touched my face. He's not dirty. He has had lots of bathing and all that sort of stuff at home. This is not dirty. This is just really unfortunate case of matting where the brushing just hasn't been right. So he's not a dirty dog and I'm not concerned about that when I'm touching my face. I should be, but not that much. So I, um, yeah, I live with depression and anxiety. So if I were in, the, in his situation and, um, you know, these things are happening to me, he didn't come here willingly to have this done, okay? He was brought here and I'm doing this to him. I'm not doing it with him, I'm doing it to him. So um, if I were in that situation and I was taken somewhere and somebody was doing something to me that I don't wanna have done and it's uncomfortable and sometimes even maybe painful and it scared me, I'd be, I'd be acting worse than this dog. Honestly, I'd be kicking, screaming, trying to run away. I mean, he's doing great. If you think of it that way, if you can, Put on um, your empathetic shoes and put yourself into his little boots. It's a hard thing to be going through, okay, or to have happen to you. So um, I, I'm not going to be, I can't be mad at him for being scared or frustrated because he's scared. I mean, admittedly, sometimes I get to the end of my tether where I'm a little bit like, oh my God, just stay still, let me do this. But in general, if I think about how he's trying to handle this situation that's happening to him, then I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him for doing such a good job. Hey, come on. Yeah, you know, we're going to keep going. Look at that. Look at that. Does that feel so good? Yeah. So we're, we're just proud of him. We're not mad. No. So I'm going to come back in. I've got my finger across his jawbone and my other fingers across the bridge of his nose. And again, if he really wanted to take a hunk out of me, he could. I have got rubbed hair on my face. And it is not good, you guys. <laughs> it's such fine hair. What a goose. All right, I've changed that blade over. We've given him a little bit of a breather for a minute and a bit of a reminder that we're here for love. Good boy. I'm just gonna be patient now, we can't rush this. Good boy, Obi. Well done, my love. I know that's hard. 
I know. No, come on, be patient now. That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. I know that's a lot for you. Let's swap. I'm going to go on this side. You're going to be okay? You hang in there for me? Hang in there. Hang in there. Good boy. Okay, that's it. That's it. You did great. Let me, let me just let you go. Okay, let me let you go. Good boy. That was great. You did a fantastic job. You really did. You did great. Congratulations. Now, what are we going to do with this top knot? I feel terrible shaving this all off, but I kind of feel like that's just what he needs right now. It's going to be so, it's going to be ugly, but I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry, dad. With this the way it is, I think it's just, I mean, we could probably do this longer. Oh, decisions. How are you feeling? You feel a bit better? Hmm? Come on then. So now we're going to go back to holding this up here like that, okay? I'm going to hold his head and control it that way. And I'm sorry, my love. I'm going to come down here and he is going to be mad again. I'm not going to start right at the elbow part though. Put that down for me, please. So he's not a dirty dog and I'm not concerned about that when I'm touching my face. I should be, but not that much. So I, um, yeah, I live with depression and anxiety. So if I were in, the, in his situation and, um, you know, these things are happening to me, he didn't come here willingly to have this done, okay? He was brought here and I'm doing this to him. I'm not doing it with him, I'm doing it to him. So um, if I were in that situation and I was taken somewhere and somebody was doing something to me that I don't wanna have done and it's uncomfortable and sometimes even maybe painful and it scared me, I'd be, I'd be acting worse than this dog. Honestly, I'd be kicking, screaming, trying to run away. I mean, he's doing great. If you think of it that way, if you can put on um, your empathetic shoes and put yourself into his little boots, it's a hard thing to be going through, okay? Or to have happen to you. So um, I, I'm not gonna be, I can't be mad at him for being scared or frustrated because he's scared. I mean, admittedly, sometimes I get to the end of my tether where I'm a little bit like, oh my God, just stay still, let me do this. But in general, if I think about how he's trying to handle this situation that's happening to him, then I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him for doing such a good job. Hey, come on. Yeah, you know, we're gonna keep going. Look at that, look at that. Does that feel so good? Yeah. So we're, we're just proud of him. We're not mad. No. So I'm gonna come back in. I've got my finger across his jawbone and my other fingers across the bridge of his nose. And again, if he really wanted to take a hunk out of me, he could. I have got rubbed hair on my face and it is not good, you guys. <laughs> it's such fine hair. What a goose. All right, I've changed that blade over. We've given him a little bit of a breather for a minute and a bit of a reminder that we're here for love. Good boy. You just gonna be patient now. We can't rush this. Good boy, Obi. Well done, my love. I know that's hard. I know. No, come on, be patient now. That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. I know that's a lot for you. Let's swap. I'm going to go on this side. You're going to be okay? You hang in there for me? Hang in there. Hang in there. Good boy. Okay, that's it. That's it. You did great. Let me, let me just let you go. Okay, let me let you go. Good boy. That was great. You did a fantastic job. You really did. You did great. Congratulations. Now, what are we going to do with this top knot? I feel terrible shaving this all off, but I kind of feel like that's just what he needs right now. It's going to be so, it's going to be ugly, but I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry, dad. With this the way it is, I think it's just, I mean, we could probably do this longer. Oh, decisions. How are you feeling? You feel a bit better? Hmm? Come on then. So now we're going to go back to holding this up here like that, okay? I'm going to hold his head and control it that way. And I'm sorry, my love. I'm going to come down here and he is going to be mad again. I'm not going to start right at the elbow part though. Put that down for me, please. Thank you. No, put it down for me, please. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, lovey. Come on now. Come on, put that down. Put that down. Just 
in good boy, trust me, okay? If I can do it the way I want to do it, it's without hurt. I know, I know that's so mean. Stand up for me, darling. Good boy, good boy. Okay, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna come back here now. Good boy. Okay, just chill, take it easy. So on the other side, when I got down to this foot here, that's when he got mad at me. And that's okay. If it hurts, it hurts. It's not his fault. Look at that. That's really thick. So we're just doing little bit by little bit. See all this hanging off here? It's hanging by one little thread. I'm going to try to get that off. There we go. Get rid of some of that. His legs, this is going to be hard. And this here. Does that see that flap there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's terrible under there. Just relax for me. All right, honey. Good boy, Obi. Good boy. You trust me now, okay? It's for love. Good boy. What a superstar, mate. What a superstar, hey? If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. You do it for Obi, because he's working hard here. Good boy, mate. Yes. Oh, my love. You just did such a good job. You did a good job. Yes. I'm proud of you. That's, that's good boy. Yeah. Hey? I know that hurts. I know. Such a good boy. You did great. You did really good. Well done. Okay. Now, what I want to know, can I hold on to your leg? Can I hold, can I hold this? Can we like come to an agreement that if I hold this, you're not going to bite me? Can we do that? Because I got to get in here and that's a lot. And turn this around, turn you around, not this, you. Get my chair. Okay, we're gonna work on this together, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold his foot up. You can't really see me, can you? There we go. I'm gonna hold his foot up. I'm gonna use my arms to try and keep his head up and out of the way of biting me. Okay? He's gonna wanna bite me. You're gonna be a good boy for me, okay? You now listen. With love, we're gonna go slow and we're gonna go in here, okay? I'm not gonna touch your feet. I know the feet hurt, we're just, just here, okay? Breathe it out, nice and easy. Shh. It's just gentle, okay? I'm just gonna go gentle. That's a good boy. I'm not gonna go, shh, relax. I'm not gonna go any lower than that just yet. See that? Now we're gonna come under here. There's a lot there, I know. I'm gonna take it easy, little by little, all right? Be patient with me, good boy. I see. I see you doing well. I'm proud of you. What well, made me cry being so proud of you? Look at that, you guys. He's really trying here. Okay, just keep trying. I'm being gentle, okay? I'm listening to you. You're doing good. I know you're getting to the end. A little bit more. I know that hurts. I'm sorry. Shh. Take it easy. It's a push, I know. A little bit more. And go this way now. Just a little bit more, get that off. Such a good boy, Obi. Okay, we're nearly there. You're doing such a good job, my love. Look at that. Look at that, you did it. You did that. You did a great job. All right, so I'm emotional. I get emotional. I'm a very emotional person, but I'm so proud of him. He just, we connected, he gave me all of his trust. And that was right in his underarm, right in that, that was, that's such a sensitive area for so many dogs. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of him. Hey, don't be a sad boy, I'm so proud of you. Yes, I am so proud of you, you good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Hey, oh, I know. I know. Are you feeling some, somewhat a little bit better, huh? 
It's gonna be a different story when you do when we get to those feet. But he did good. That's that's a big chunk off there. That's why I've got hair everywhere, because I keep cuddling you, you floofer. Now we've got to get this side. How you doing? Hey? Now I've heard it said that when a dog puts its back to you, it's like a sign that they trust you. I don't know. If you've heard something like that, let me know in the comments what it is. He's got his head down because he's tr he is going through this and he's really trying so hard. Oh, baby. You want me to do the other side now? What's in your mouth? You got hairs in there? What are you doing? All right, let's make sure everyone can see. So I'm going to try and do the same again, but opposite is very, very hard because I can't just swap hands with the clippers. So I'm going to hold his head up here first. Come down here. I'm going to stretch the skin out and try and get this out of here. Nice and cold clipper blade. All right, boy. Take it easy with me. Come on. How are we going to do this so that I can hold it up and not get bitted by you? You going to trust me? I don't want you to bite me. Okay, I'm going to come in here and you're going to let me do it. Don't snarl at me. Okay, I'm going to do this bit here. Are you ready? Good boy. Just nice and easy. Okay, same as the other side. Come on. You look at me. You look at me while we do it. You trust me? You trust me, Baba? Let's do this together. Just a little bit, little by little. That's the one. Uh uh uh. Uh uh. I see it. I know. Good boy. Good boy, you're doing a good job. Yeah, you just keep looking at me. I got you, little by little. That's the way. I'm so proud of you, you're such a good boy. I see that little flap there. Oh, honey kittens, take it easy with me, okay? That's a tough one. Just a little bit, keep going. Oh, you're a good boy, you're a good boy. I see you trying to trust me. I know you're working there. You're working so hard. Good boy. I'm gonna stop just there, okay? I know the feet are sensitive, I know. I got you. Come in there. You alright? Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Just a little bit. That part is that's a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, okay. Good boy. Okay, so again, that's um, that was scary. There we go, felted underarm. That was scary for me because um, I, I didn't have really anything in place to protect myself then. And I really am big about protecting myself. If I get bitten, then I get infections on my hands. I can't work for weeks and I don't have sick pay or any sort of cover if I'm not working, so. And I have too much debt. And children. Children are expensive. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this again to control his head. And I'm going to come down here. That's a lot of matting. It's really thick. You just try and trust me, my love. I wish I'd never touched my face. I know. Hey, it's just me. Come on, try and trust me now. Hang in there. I know. Shh. 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 Okay, okay. I hear you. I'm gonna go this way. Uh uh, uh uh. Try and trust me now.
So, um, poodles in particular have a. I'm gonna let you go for a second because my arms can't. Oh, my arms can't sleep. Um, poodles have. Um, you know, they're not a shedding breed of dog, but they do have what's called a coat change. And I don't know everything about this, so. Um, this is going by what I know um, with my experience with my dogs and what I see with the puppies and things that I get in here. Um, between 8 and 14 months of age, um, all that puppy hair that they come with, this gorgeous big floofy puppy hair that's super fine, uh, it all starts to come out and it changes over to a coarser adult coat. Um, so a part of what, the reason why he's so badly matted, it's not necessarily because um, mum wasn't able to get the brush in there in time it's also got to do with a lot that he, this hair is dead hair that's fallen it's come out of the hair um follicle but it's stuck in the rest of the hair and it just makes these knots like this it just gets worse and worse see that so if we pulled this apart a lot of it's just dead hair that's all just stuck together and it's um created this situation so Given that he's about a year old, he's probably had a bit of a coat change and um, that's really exacerbated the situation and made it just a whole lot harder for everybody. Hey buddy, you're doing great though. I am going to take a quick break. We're going to get a drink. I'm going to get Obi a drink. We can take this off. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to take this off. Get him a drink. I'm going to have a drink. It's going to be a longer, not too long, but I want to um, keep him comfortable. I don't want him to be mad about this. I want him to know that even though everything's a mess, I want him to know that it's going to be all right in the end. And that um, I don't want this groomer visit to be traumatic for him because they, they do remember everything. So the next time he walks in my doors, I don't want him to remember that I held him down and shaved him. I want him to remember that I connected with him. I listened to him when he was talking to me, which is through his body language um, and the way that he moves around and stuff like that. Um, I want him to remember that I trusted him as much as he trusted me. Yeah. So that next time he comes in, you want to give me a kiss? Thank you. The next time he comes in, he's not scared to be here. He knows that when he comes here, he feels better when he goes home. So that's really important to me because he will be back. Won't you? So we want to build a relationship that's going to be a good one. We do. Would you like a drink now? All right, we'll be back after a quick drink break. All right, my little fur family, we're back. I've offered Obi a drink and he's just totally been like, yeah, nah, you don't want it. So I'm just put that aside. I'm not surprised he didn't want my drink. I'm not surprised. So we're going to pop our little no-no mask on. We are. I know I'm sorry, lovey, but guess what? You're going to be a snappy boy because we're going to continue to do things that are not very pleasant. Okay? I know. I do it with love. I don't want you to bite me. I don't want you to bite the clippers because they're going to bite you back. Okay? All with love. My watch just told me it's time to get moving despite the fact that my heart rate is pounding. Oh, it's not that bad. Come on. We're going to keep going now. Can you turn around? Come here. Come on. Come on I know, I know, you're full of beans. Is that scratch so good? Hey? That scratch feels so good. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. All right, all right. Can we do that after? Can I just, can we just get you groomed up? You can go up for me, okay? Up, that's it. We're gonna come down here. I'm gonna hold him right up. I've got my finger tucked in. Hang on. I've got my finger tucked into that muzzle there. Just so I've got a little extra bit of control. And there's, Skin, the flaps kind of go that way, so you know what? I'm not doing that with a seven. No, sir. We're gonna make you naked under there. That's tight. That's gonna hurt. He's gonna end up with skin caught in the clipper blade. Stay there. I could probably do it with a ten, but I do the sanitary area with a fifteen anyway, so we're just gonna extend the sanitary area out a bit for him. So I'm holding his little paws, he's a little bit tighter, just to have a better control. I'm going to try not to actually touch the skin very much. Be careful of his little nippy knockers. That's it. Oh, honey things. That's tight. Tight, tight matting. 
and that's the base of his penis there. He's being so patient with me. It's a matting just over the top there. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good boy. Uh, dogs are super sensitive when you get around their testicles. So just be aware and on guard for that. There it is. That's okay. I see them. I found them. I found them for you. You should thank, be thankful. Yeah. Okay. You want a break? I got you, boo. You have a break. Okay. So doing this other side is harder for me. Again, um, some people just make it so seamless to work on the other side of the body. I have not quite mastered that just yet myself. So I am going to secure his little noggin up, up, up and out of my way. Make sure that's not pulling too tightly. There we go. I'll have myself a sit down. Where are you going? Where are you going, Wriggle Worm? Don't you already know? He already knows what's happening. He's like, just don't, don't do it. How's that for an idea? Okay. Now lift up this leg here. Come on. Hey, you got to work with me here. Can't try and relax a little bit. I'm going to come in this part here, okay? And you are not going to snippy snap your snooper snooper at me. So, oh my goodness. Um, I'm just going to wriggle you around here in not the easiest way. Can I do that? I can't. So in another video I've mentioned about grass seeds where you have to like constantly check. Okay. You have to constantly check for grass seeds. And I always talk about the places where you find them and some of them, come here darling, are not the nicest places. So I'm just gonna get him, I'm gonna put this here and get him into a good position. I'm gonna show you. Um, I talked about checking for grass seeds in and around the um, genital area and look what I found right along, that's his testicles and that's a grass seed right in the um, skin of his testicles, okay? So it's in the skin a little bit. I'm gonna try and angle this so you can see. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just gonna get that out for him because that's gotta be uncomfortable as buggery. Look at that. Okay, so that was in his skin, just in the little flap around his, the edge of his testicles. Keep saying testicles, what a terrible word. Anyway, so now I'm just going to have a... So that matting, this is going to be really uncomfortable for him. He's going to snap at me big time because that matting is right up along there. I'm sorry. I'm genuinely very sorry, sir. So, um, what I'm going to do is put you guys back into a good position there and I really do need to manage my bite risk here on this okay because this is he's gonna go snap 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 big time and that's not me being I'm trying not like I don't want to be a dramatic sort of groomer I don't enjoy that kind of content so I'm trying not to be dramatic but he is actually gonna be super mad at me going around that area And also what I want to do is cross these over so that they stop him from popping his head out. So that's going to cross over that. He won't be able to take that off. Mean. Oh, yes. I hate it. I don't like to do this. But I need to keep his head over here. Okay. I absolutely need to keep his head over there. And away from me. And away from my clippers. And slow down his movement a little bit as well so that he's not going to be at risk of me accidentally hurting him from him jumping. Okay, baby. You can go nice and easy here. And uh, I will be on the quieter side while I just concentrate a little bit. Um, if your dog is not for breeding, uh, especially your boys, girls, there's lots of reasons to de-sex, but we're not grooming a girl, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, for boys, especially long-haired breeds, there's many reasons to de-sex them if they're not for breeding. 
And this is one of them. Because this sucks. Such fragile skin around there. I don't want to do this to him. The risk of hurting him is certainly much higher in this area than any other area. Oh, good golly. Good golly, sir. So, Mum, I'm sorry, he is going to have a naked booty. I'll bring this camera back around here so that you guys get to see what's happening. There we go. Hopefully you get to see you know, my arms in the way too much. So, we're looking back here. We can see that um, matting all the way through there. Bit of poop in his booty. That's not, not nothing extreme. Not upset about that. Okay. Just not quite seeing. I know, I'm sorry, sir. So, what I'm trying to do is come in on this side. Can you see, or is my head just in the way? Ooh, wibble wobble. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Alright. Let's see if we can do this without making you too mad at me. Okay, just trust me, darling. Okay, it is with the greatest love. It is very easy to catch skin here. Go that way, darling. Good boy. I'll lift up this side. Okay, so I don't know if you guys, I keep saying I don't know if you can see. Um, I'm just gonna come in under here now. I'll try and get the last of that hair out of there. You're doing such a good job, Obi. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. I was just really concentrating. You're a good boy. Do you think he knows, guys, that I'm just trying to help him out here a little bit? Okay, I'm not going to push too far there. We can come back after his bath and tidy that up. We can. You did a good job. I know that's hard for you. I know that's hard. Let's put this one over here. Okay, come on. Sorry, guys, the camera's just... Got this amazing feature where it overheats. Sarcasm. Insert sarcasm here. It overheats, it gets too hot. So. Okay, as I was saying, amazing feature where it overheats and uh, the battery conveniently goes flat all the time too. It's great. So, what are we up to? What are we up to? So I've just swapped sides with over here. So I can have a look at everything from this side. We're doing pretty good, aren't we, Obi? You reckon he's feeling a bit better, you guys? I think he is. He's not, um, he's trying not to be mad at me. And uh, I hope he knows how much I really appreciate that. Oof. Just tidying up around his little penis. And um, he's got a lot of... So we'll talk about this. In some of my other videos, I talk about the pee wick, which is the little bit of hair on the end of the penis. And um, you just want to smash me in the face with your tail a bit more? Okay, 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 okay. So it is the little bit of hair on the end of the willy here. And... Uh, some people like to leave it on, some people like to take it off. I'd usually just take it off because it gets matted and crusty with urine. Sir, you're getting overwhelmed. Let's take a break. It gets matted and over, um, 
not overwhelmed. <laughs> the dog gets overwhelmed. It gets matted and crusty and yucky with all that urine in there. Um, and for dogs that aren't being groomed religiously, like having their sanitary trims done every couple of weeks, it's a bit too much. So you can see that bit of hair hanging down there. And you can see uh, when, just now when I was going through with the clipper, it was that crunch. That's trying to get through that thick, solid bit of matting there. And um, it is, it can block the end of their urethra and make it difficult for them to be able to urinate properly, uh, which leads to urinary tract infections, which leads to a very unhappy doggy. So we do want to just take it off. That's not all going to come off now. We'll have to soak it in the bath. But that's that. So I am now going to attempt to groom these little back legs which is painful for our boy here. So, again, we are going to just further restrain this poor little lab. If there's been such a sweet baby. I'm just gonna use this to um, hold up him, his belly, hold up him, hold his belly up, kind of slow down his movements a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that we're tight here and here. That's gonna reduce his risk or ability to bite me. I'm gonna swing you guys back around over this side. Whee! Ooh, yay for the cinematics. Spinning around. I'm spinning around. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing back here with this leg. So I'm gonna swap over to my 10 blade, which is 1.5 millimeters and it's damn short. But what we wanna do is get through this, which is wrapped tightly around this foot. We just wanna get through it as peacefully as we can. So my boy Obi over here, he's gonna be mad. We're just gonna do our best. And again, mum, I'm sorry, it's gonna be short, uh, which I know you understand and you're not mad about, so. But I'm still sorry. So I'm patting Obi on his head which you can't see because third camera angles. Whee! Okay, I'm patting Obi on his little head here. And it was right here that made him mad before. Good boy, Obi. Good boy. I'm here, my love. I got you. I'm right here for you. Okay, just breathe it out. Take it easy. I'm going little by little, okay? Just going to ease it off. Little, little, little. Good boy. Good boy. So, because the matting's kind of like all the way around, just about, we do just have to work our way down slowly. A lot of patience. Don't try and rush this. And we know that he's sensitive about his feet anyway, under normal circumstances. So, we can forgive him being a little bit mad. Under these circumstances, what's your tail out the way, my love? You're gonna go over there and see if you can have better luck? Huh? There we go. I promise, my darling, it is all for love. You can hold that leggy up. I don't mind. So, just for reference, I think in Walkie's video, I don't. I think I even used a number 10 very often on him, only when I absolutely had to. So that's that level of matting that we're seeing here. That's a um, tight, tight, tight. That's, that's a lot of matting there that is all completely felted. Sorry, baby. We don't want to see that. For our puppers, we want to be careful not to let that happen, but obviously when You've got yourself a snappy boy. Um, so when I send Obi home, I'm gonna talk to mum and dad, or mum, who's gonna be here. Um, oh, darling, excuse me, no. I don't appreciate that. Oh, no, stop. These are my hands, my hands are for love. Clippers are down. All right, you stop that. You hear that attitude, hey? Sassy. Sassy. We won't be doing that today, thank you. You see these toots? We're gonna groom them because they need to be groomed. And you see your attitude. You gotta throw that out the window, sir. 
stop that. I know, I know, you're getting mad with me. I get that. I do understand that. Come on now, stop. Stop, stop. calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down. I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. I can very much understand how you're feeling, but we have to just do this. So I'm going to hold him at his knee here and try and keep this as straight as I can. And uh, he's going to get super pissed. Breathe it out, buddy. Breathe it out. Shh. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You need to be a nice boy for me. Stop. Stop that. You be gentle. You be gentle. I've been gentle with you. You be gentle with me. This is a two-way street. You understand? We have to get that off that foot. You're not keeping it. That hair is coming off. Stop. I know. You've got to stop. Come on now. Okay. Sir. Come on. That's enough of that. All right. I'm going to hold this foot. So he's going to hold the foot. He's going to lose his shit, but we're just going to get this hair off now. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You be patient. You be a good boy for me. I'm going to be gentle. Okay. Good boy. I know it hurts in those toes. I know. Yeah, there's a big mat there. No, no. All right, now. Good boy. Hold on. Hold on. There's a mat right in his toe here. Oh, oh sir, that scares me. You know I'm sensitive. You know I'm sensitive. I don't like that. Come on. Ease up. Good boy. Don't snap at me. Don't snap at me. Stop growling. It's rude. You mind your manners. That's what you need to do. You mind your manners. Yes. Okay. Most of that's off. Does that feel better? Does it feel better? I bet you it does. Does that feel better? Don't be mad at me. All that hair's off now. That feels better, doesn't it? Is it better? I'm trying to help you. Most of that matting's off. Once he has a bath, hopefully the de-shedding shampoo will try and, and conditioner will soften that up a little bit and we'll be able to sort of put him in a hammock and um, just scissor the rest out. But we still gotta do these front legs with him being so snippy snappy. I'm not excited about that at all. I'm really not. You still got another back leg to go. Oh Lord, all right. Okay, so again, him's gonna be cranky, sir. Get that tail out of the way, jeepers. All right, he's gonna be cranky at me. Good boy. Good boy, Obi. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you for being a good boy. I appreciate that. Come on now. Oh, that bit tight there. Hey. Good boy. So, like, look at that coming off. That is thick. Mean. Nice. Thick and mean. Good boy. You did a great job. So now I'm just going to stand him up here. If he'll let me. I've got his paws underneath. I'm just going to go this way inside this leg. He can still bite me. He's probably going to. I just want to get through this side while I can see it easily. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Oh, that is hard to get through. Hang in there. Hang in there. <laughs> Sir, stop. Stop. Good boy. I'm sorry. I'm listening to you. I am. I know this is hard. You're okay. We've got hands. You're okay. No wonder mum's having a hard time. Hmm? You sassy. Sassy. So sassy. Little 
calm down, okay? Good boy. Um, that was that was tight in there. That did really pull. Stay there. Alright, I'm gonna hang on to this for a second. Go through here real quick. Chill. Calm down. Okay. I'm just that bit there. Calm down. Calm down. Good boy. Good boy. And come down this bit here. No. These feet are going to be so hard. No. 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 Right. You're a turd. No, you're being a turd. Stop it. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You will be nice to... You stop. No. 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 I'm not having that. Can you hear him growling? Stop. Stop. No. These are my hands. You don't do that to my hands. You stop. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. You can't do that. Okay? Good golly. Good golly. What even are we going to do with you, sir? Okay. Let's make a plan here. Nope. 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 Stop. Stop that. It's just painful. That's all it is. You gonna let me do this? Can I do this, please? We gonna work together here? Okay. Little bit by little bit, okay? You gotta trust me here. Just a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Just a little bit. Okay? That's it. Good boy. Come on now. Be a good boy. No stuff. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, you can keep it. Let's keep all the hair. You want to keep all the hair? You want to keep it all? Keep your nasty mats and your owls? I wouldn't want to keep them if I were you. Let's swap. We're going to move back to his ebers. I'm just going to push on, keep going. So I want to. Oh, feisty. Stop. Stop. No. 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 We're not doing that. We are not doing that. You need to stop. I'm going to touch your ears. You're not going to bite me and be mean. These are hands. Stop. That's an attitude I don't appreciate. You need to stop that. Stop. You can calm down. You can put your head down. Thank you. Lord have mercy on my soul. What are we going to do with you? You're a poo head. Alright, I'm going to give him a break. I'm going to let him calm down. Get myself calm. Just for a minute. Come on. Stop that. I'm going to drink of water. Yeah. I'll take this off, but you don't bite me because I see you being a feisty boy. Yes, sir, I do. Yeah, you want a drink? Come on. Come here. Come on. Let me do it. Oh, I dropped it in the water bowl. Give him a break for a minute. Let him just calm down because he is worked up. He's being dramatic. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. We have had five minutes. A little bit of a breather. He still hasn't had a drink. A drink. Husband's just arrived to give me a hand. Here I come to save the day. So. You can see that he's changed his attitude a little bit. Sometimes just a quick break. He's right. changed his attitude for a minute. Tell <laughs> me what you want to do, Mom. So he's just super mad. 
mad. Oh yeah, and mean. Bottom muzzle? Yeah, he actually is just a bit mean about being touched in places, so I'm gonna put this back on. Uh, you can just hang on to it. Oh no, you can't hang on to it because I actually need your help. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what I'm trying to do is groom his ears and he's like, hell no. Nope. Yeah. But I can just do this. So hang on, hang on. So yeah. If you grab at him, you're going to start kissing him off before we even get started on anything. So... I, oh, yeah, see you get worked up. everything down for a minute because he's getting real mean so I'm a bit worked up too. Mm. We just gonna calm him down. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. So every time I touch his ears and I'll show you, you'll see what I mean. They're sore. They must be sore. Try cleaning his ears out maybe? I can't even look inside his ears. I can't get the hair off it to start with. So What do you want me to do? Uh, just wait. I'll tell when we get to a point where I want you to do something. I'll tell you once I know what I want you to do because I don't know. I just actually don't know at the minute. I want to try and do his ears. I'm gonna try and hand muzzle. I'm just gonna hold him. Mm -hmm. Just. I'm gonna try and just do his head first. I'm gonna just do what we can do. Um, if he. Snarls just move away quickly because this muzzle is a big muzzle. Yeah. And it's not fitting him very well because I need to be able to hold him and move around. So yeah. he's already getting growly. Good thing you're going with this at the first. You're okay. Yeah, you just talk you're to me. You're doing good. Maybe just Some talk to me. Of... Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> can't be <laughs> right. Can't be right, Glenn. Oh, I can sing in my uh, a song that I wrote about dead kangaroos. Let's not. Yeah, because that's... Okay, so this is where we're going to get mad. Yeah. Okay, hang in there. I'm hanging in. You okay, buddy? You okay? I'll scratch you. Uh, like no, that. can you put your arm back under that ear leather? I'm just going to use you as a... Don't stop moving. Okay. I'm just going to try and get this hair off this ear leather. He's going to snap. Hey. Keep talking to him. You're doing good. Sorry about your arm hairs. You're doing good. Oh, I like losing arm hairs now. Okay, okay. So that's all good on this side. We're going to do the other side too. You are right. So he's going to come down here. Yeah, okay. All right. Now I'm going to try and flip his ear over and he doesn't like that, okay? Because right. he's got a lot of matting in here. Keep talking to him. Yeah, I know I know why he's gone all placid and everything. You are not the alpha. He's total alpha. You are not the alpha. No. Let me just make sure that these guys can see what's going on here. Move this in here a little bit. They can smell me because I built this place. I built this city. Awesome. Come on, just yeah. relax, relax. Yeah. I would be more comfortable if I could support this ear leather, but for now we're just going to gently take off what we can. You're doing good, man. Now we're losing arm hairs. Sacrificing for a little brown doggy. So I'm going to come down here now. He's moving away from me. Okay. And consider that the less arm hairs I have, the more aerodynamic I am and the faster I am to get away from okay. the snapping mouth. So just stay put. Can you hold this yeah. stretch it back for me there? Okay. So I am holding him quite really firm and it's for his safety. If he moves and these clippers get into any of these little nooks and cranny of his little sensitive ears, it's not good. So a little bit mean for the betterment of his condition. I don't think he's fine. He looks like he's going to sleep. <laughs> you think he's fine? Wait till you watch this video back, you guys. He's going to watch this video back and be like, I can't believe I touched this dog. Okay, I haven't seen what you guys have seen yet, so... Okay, okay. Does that ear feel better? You've done so well, darling. You really have. Okay. So we finished with this side looks good on. We're done. Come down here. So his eyes are right there. I'm being very wary of the angles I'm taking. 
We're gonna change that blade over. It's just getting a bit warm, so. I ain't gonna do his nose. Me either. If you can't touch his eyes, or anxious. Okay, so he's anxious. He's he's all tied up. Yeah. He's he's on edge. Okay, oh, I'm gonna let you go. go. Okay. I'm gonna let you go. Is that better? Does that feel so Look much better? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I'm not trying to be mean to you, my love. I really yeah. am not. You don't get a finger up the bum here. This is not the, not the vet. They don't put fingers up the bum. They put a little thermometer in there. See that? See oh. his body language now? See, he's got his back yeah. to me now. He's trying to he's trust so me again, okay? So <laughs> whatever I did earlier, I've sort of broken that connection with him a little bit. That's my bad, touching his feet and stuff. He's trying. He's trying, and that's good. Hey, okay? That's good. All right. I'm going to try and do the other side now. So, just gently wriggle things around a little bit. I don't know why you're so nervous. You seem like a really nice dog to me. Okay. So, how am I doing this? So, let's just... Okay, so, like, this is super fun because it's like... Wee. Oh, I hit the chair. The chair. I do that every time I hit something. <laughs> but I'm still having fun with it. I don't care. So you just let me get him into a position I like. Yep. Well, I've got arm hair on this side to do. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna hand muzzle him because he can still bite with this muzzle on. Yes. This is just slowing him down. I'm gonna get my clippers here ready for my hands to grab. Come on, sir. All right. I wish I could clip her. I wish you could clip her. I think me just being here is... Okay, so I'm going to get a good, 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 good firm grip. So there's... I already got a lot off on the other ear. So um, there's a bit more to work through on this side, all right? So go back to holding his chest again and mm -hmm. try and get your arm under here where it yeah. supports that ear leather a little bit for me. And, uh, well, just stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Talk to him. I'm pretty sure that feels amazing. I thought dogs loved a good scratch, and then like the clipper blade, surely. It's scary. They're the best. It's just all scary, isn't and it? With your ears looked after like this, it means you're not going to get food all over them. And when you get a drink, you're not going to get whacked in the head with wet ear. Even though I think that will still happen, because... They're pretty big ears. They're, they're cocker ears. spaniel ears. Okay, okay. Did I change the blade over? I didn't. You didn't. Sorry. Lucky it wasn't that warm to start with. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I can't wait for you to watch this video. <laughs> okay. No, that's not hot. Was that the one you had on there? No. No. A little yeah, bit more. Not really. Alright. So this time I'm going to, you just hold him because I'm going to flip that ear leather over. Yep. I'm going to go inside and around his face. So there's a lot of matting under here. See that? See, That's he's getting mad. Nice pulling he's getting mad. Yeah, okay. So I'm having a look in there. He might have to go to the vet and get those ears plucked, Mum, because I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm. I don't love to ear pluck in the first place, but so that would be so painful that that would just destroy the bond that I've got with him in the first place and ruin my chances of successful grooming later on. Maybe you've had his ears plucked before. And this is why he is so sensitive about it. Well, Cocker Spaniels in particular, like lots of Spaniel breeds. Hang on, mate. Yeah. You talk to him. Um, they get infections really easily because they yeah. just don't have good airflow around the ear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get off what I can. But it, there's there's some real matted hair in those ears. Can't see your eyes. Gentle here. Here's your eyeballs. Can't see you. Go this way a little bit. Okay, eyes Where are there. It? There it is. <laughs> so just real gentle. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. So this is gonna piss him off, alright? Yep. Because of the knot. The mat. Well, also this it's the problem is is that the muzzle's in the way. I'm gonna undo this muzzle. Keep holding him. Don't stop that. I'm going to undo this muzzle and he's going to know right. that it's undone. If he's going to snap, you get the, the potatoes out the way. 
Well, that was me not wearing a <laughs> using a square word. Okay, so I just come down here. Oh, I thought you were calling my fingers potatoes, I'm not. No, they're sausages. You got chunky sausage fingers. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so now we've got our next oh. obstacle is these things. I'm gonna just loosen them off a little bit. He's submitting here, guys, and it's sad that a dog has to submit. To me. He's not submitting to you. He's submitting to the process. Yeah. There is no power here, okay? There is only... That's right. For the people at home. There's only people trying to help a dog. Yeah. We don't do power struggles. Doggies don't need to be overpowered. They need to be... Well, loved. who's the boss in our house? Me. But you're not a dog. You're a people. Mm. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Move that that way. And come down here a little bit. Since it's available, we'll just get it off. Oh, it's doing my back in there. Move your feet closer, my love. Oh. The closer to your body he is, the less work it is on your back. Like carrying packages. Well, I never worked on hard wrist or so. <laughs> Some of us have done some hard physical labour in our lives. <laughs> and some of us have not. I love how it's just insults back and forwards, like little, little... Oh, but it's with love. Hey, I know. No, no, we're not doing that. Stop. Come down. Okay, so we're going to go back over Come here. Come down, floofy. Can you hold this one? Yep. Here. That means I don't want to rip my arms off. So, our little tethers are a bit tangled up, but they're so necessary in controlling the situation. It's unfortunate. Just check that knee is fine. Um, as with uh, my walkie video, I'm not going in the direction that I wish to be going in for a good cut. Okay, I want you to hold that tight, okay, because I'm going to come down here. Yep. I'm not going in the direction that I wish I could go in to get a good cut. I'm going in the direction that gets the hair off, which is unfortunate, but just a necessity at this point. Does mum know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That She's so, can you grab that camera and just bring it around so we can show this matting in his ear while we've got him kind of under control? I'll just touch that screen there. Yeah, so... Okay. The um, SD card was full this time. Yeah. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. We need to get better. We're, I promise you, if you're in the comments telling us to get better, we know. We're trying. It's uh, very expensive to purchase this kind of equipment and um well as you know four kids and we're just yeah average little aussie family doing what we do the so sd cards are like 70 bucks or something. we're working on it okay i'm gonna try and do the rest of his face i'm gonna try first without a muzzle just by hand muzzling go me he's had a you can see we're giving him a little break again he's feeling a little bit more himself he's <laughs> You're hitting yourself in the face with your tail. All right. Okay, calm. I'm just gonna calm him down. Calm, calm down. Stop, sir, 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 sir. I know everything feels so much better. Stop, stop that. Okay, we can take this one off because it's, oh, I don't know, a little less important at the minute. Oh. I really, really want to hang out with me. Oh, just don't drop those clippers. Nope. Oh, all kinds of hair stuff in here. Maybe we'll put it here. Have we tried the belly thing? Oh, yeah, we've used it on and off. about. No, we used, we used it where it worked. Okay, okay, I just need you to sit down with your face facing me. Oh, I was going to sit down. Not, well, yeah, you can, you can sit down. I <laughs> took exactly as you said. Calm, calm. I know, I like him too. He's all right. Yeah, I don't mind him. Sometimes, not always. Okay. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Pumpkin. Okay, hands. His hair is pulling in this thing. No, that's just loose hair. Come on, calm down. Calm down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the no-no mask. Ready? And the, what about this? 
Well, that's not going to stop him biting when I, my hands are in his mouth, are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> Good boy. Calm down. Yeah, we talked about this. If you've gone by, you've gone wear the no-no mask. We did have a conversation about this already. Yep, no-no masks for no-no boys. Did you do no-nos? You did no-nos. You did no-nos. At least you can see now. All right. You got eyes. All right, what do you want me to do? So... Stop, stop. He's just tangling himself up. He is. Stop, stop. So he's not a fan of being restrained. Or at least not by me. He seems to do better with you. And he just can't contain himself. Stop. There we go. Let him back up to you. Let him just find his happy place. Stop. Okay, I do need to hold this. It's going to be the only way I can help you. Okay? So you see that in this instance, the muzzle's helping to keep him a bit calmer. So and leave it there, but I'm gonna work down the side of his face here. Check he must out. have a male role model owner type thing. He's got a daddy. Home. A daddy, yeah, yeah. But you know how like Jude is, Jude, I'm Jude's favorite. Oh, you mean though. that really expensive dog I paid a fortune yep. for who loved you more than me? Yep. Yeah, I know that dog. Yep, so uh, this dog is in the same. He loves the daddy more. Just keep up doing what you're doing because it's... I'm not saying dude doesn't love you. Stop. Okay. If I let go, you got to let go. Okay. Uh, I do? Yeah. Can you move that ear just a little bit gently out of the way? That's it. Bit more. Bit more. That's it. Good boy, Obi. Good boy. Obi one. Obi. 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 We had walkie, like a walkie. A walkie. A few mm. weeks ago. Now we have Obi-Wan. Yeah, we've got Obi. Just gently there, mate. Take it easy. We're going to get walking back okay. again. Okay, what I want you to do is pull this skin back just there, okay? Sure? I want you to actually pull it back while I go over his lip here. Okay, this is going to be messy, you guys. There's not going to be any way for me to make this pretty. So don't judge any stray hairs hanging out. See that lip there? Yeah. I want that to come back. You need to it. Yep. I need it taut. Yeah, it's not going to leave. That's all right. I'm worried about putting it here. Okay. So for the sake of keeping control, maintaining control, we're going to put this muzzle back on because he's responding to that in the appropriate way of knowing that that means he's got to calm oh, down. Oh, you're so cute. We've got one side done. All right, try not to amp him up. Try to keep him calm. I'm not doing anything. I hope everyone could see. I hope I wasn't blocking everything. Okay, good boy. So now we're gonna just hand muzzle again. Good boy. Come down here a little bit. See, he wants to be a good boy. It's just a lot. Because I'm not even really holding him at this point. Don't tell him that. Come down the bridge of this nose here. He's getting a little snarly, but he's trying. Good boy, good boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, around mm -hmm. his eyes, I'm not going to get right in there. It's okay, my love. Good boy, good boy. All right, all right, that's it. That's good. We like that. We have done so good. Such a good boy. <laughs> We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Okay. Do you know what's going to be hard, you guys? We still have to do his front legs. Mm. <laughs> we all know how he reacts. Don't touch that. Don't touch. Don't touch that. We all know how he reacted before. Can we, can we put him in the sling? We're probably going to have to, but also uh. he is going to need to have that collar on. All right, we're swapping sides, Daddy. Round you go. I'm gonna try and get that other side of his face now. Get this out of the way. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same, but we're gonna swap sides. Okay. 
So you just hold him because he likes you. It does. He likes you. And I've got a new friend. You've got a friend You beat me, me to it. <laughs> You've got right, a friend stop that. You're going to get me a copyright claim. Not really. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm singing to the All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on now, come on. Good boy, good boy. He's on to us. He's getting anxious about this scenario. Calm down. He's getting used to me, that's the problem. Okay, so we're going to get that hand muzzle happening again. You know what? You're okay. I know you know that muzzle's off. But you're going to be good about this. Okay. This is hard. Right here. There we go. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Well, I'm going through with it initially. Well, if he reacts to it, it's going to hurt him a lot. He's warm. Change my thumb position a little bit. Good boy, good boy. There's some big mats there. So he's got flappy skin too that we've got to be so careful of. Try and stretch it up. Turn away, turn away. Stay calm now. Good boy. Here, you want to pull that lip back for me? Mm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Good boy. Good boy. Still here, right? I'm just on the other side of the room. Stop now. Yeah. All good. Okay, you want to grab that muscle and just do it up yeah. behind his ears, underneath his ears. We're going to give him a little minute. Show him that we're listening. He's communicating there, okay? He said, hang on now, that's too much. And he didn't mm -hmm. bite, he gave me that warning. Mm -hmm. He's going to look back at Dale for a bit of support because that's who his. Uh, he's not doing anything to him, it's me. No, well, yesterday was that little, tiny little... Hey, let's leave that on. Tiny little puppy dog that hated me because you made me do something. So when we go back in to try and do his um, front feet, we're actually going to use a much smaller, tighter muzzle for that. So here, if he wants to pant, he can pant away. He can do whatever he wants to do in that muzzle. And it just kind of helps to subdue him a little bit and get him to be calm. Oop, What's your booty? Table. What's your booty? Just stop, stop. Where's he going? There you go. He can do, you know, breathe and all that sort of stuff. He can breathe with a tighter muzzle on. It's just but that he, he can't, can't get there anyway because of this top one. Pant freely. Yeah, can't do it. He's not drinking anyway because he's under stress. It's a bit under stress. Stop. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Good boy. See? I'm the dog whisperer. <laughs> Who's the real dog whisperer here? Let him just reset himself. Oh, the card's nearly full. Ready? Oh, I didn't format. All right, we've put in a new SD card and a new battery. We've had a break. He did drink some water this time. He did. Finally. He's happy. He's not mad, he's just a, a poo poo head. A butthole. A chap. Yes. Very cute though. I know. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle though, you just you don't know where to go. And they're like this and so hard to groom. You just don't know what's what. You're full of beans. Now he doesn't have a muzzle on. No. If 
<laughs> Are you getting worried? Me, I'm not. Okay. I'm just trying to get into a position where I can grab him for a good hand muzzle. Good boy, good boy. Calm down, calm down. Trust me now, okay? You work with me here. So I'm just going to go back to some places where he was okay. And I'm going to chunk down here. Good boy. Gentle. Good boy. Nice and gentle. So they don't like this. The whiskers are here. All these um, sensors, their yeah. smell, their... The Okay, calm, 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 calm down. Calm down. You've got trust in me here. Okay, calm down. I want to try and come through here. He does yeah. not want me to. I can try and pull that lip back a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. He scared me then. Stop singing. Hey? Stop singing. It's okay if you sing a little bit. You get me in trouble. Oops. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you're so good. Good boy. He's only good one boy. years old, isn't he? Yeah. So he's all hormones and angry boy. Yeah. Good boy, good boy. Take it easy. I know. That's a bit of reason I really don't like that. Either. No, well, it's sensitive. There's so much going on in there. Good boy. He's getting sleepy. That's good. And you can come down here. Feels good. Just a little bit. Last little bit. Good boy. Take it easy oh, now. There we go. Good boy. Oh, good. Just try trusting me, darling. I know it's a lot. I'm going to swap hands a little bit, okay? Rearrange myself. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Good boy. Okay. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to you. I know you're stressed. I got you, okay? That's what I'm saying to you. That's fine. So, even with this groom... Hey, baby. Good boy. Okay, we are not going to achieve a perfect groom on this dog and nothing that looks great. That's just not going to happen today. Because we've already done a lot of work and spent a lot of time just to get the stuff off that we have to get off. And we're not going to tidy him up. We're going to give him, once everything's off, we're going to give him a nice bath and dry him. And then on his next groom, which is going to be in six to eight weeks if we can, you. Oh, he's got the licks. We there will go, um, try and come in and tidy him up when he's feeling better and he's had a rest. So I do need to get this spit in his eye cleared out. Yeah. Because he looks like he's um, confused. <laughs> and his eyes Look are quite red, face. which... His eyes are quite red, so he actually might... I don't know if he'll have some allergies or maybe his ears are a little bit infected. So I would recommend for mum to just book a vet appointment, get his ears checked, get them to pluck out those hairs. Cause that's not something we'll be able to, sorry for my big head in the way. We're not gonna achieve that here today. Not, not at all, sir, sir. I love you too. I do, come here, good boy. Mm. Oh, sweetie. All right, come on now. So just get you back where you were, Dale. And I'm just going to get this mini clipper in there. Once he's... Calm down. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Good boy. Okay. I'm going to come down here. Right here, okay? And you're going to be okay. It tickles though. Okay. That's good. That's good. Just a little bit there. That's really good. You did great. Yeah. Dale's still there. He's got you. Okay, okay, okay. So do you want to do his other eye? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> he 
he's all over that hand muzzle now. He's like, I know what you're doing, lady. Come here. Okay. Good boy. Okay. I'm going to do this side, all right? With my... Just gently, gently, gentle, nice and easy. Okay. It's going to help you keep those eyes a bit cleaner for a little bit longer. Stop. Stop. It's only hands. It's only my hands. Sir. You got bitten. Sir. <laughs> Not really. That's... It's a little nippy. That's a warning nibble. I don't appreciate it, though. Definitely. I'm glad it was a warning. Puppy nipple. I'll take a warning over an actual shot's fired. Hey? Why are you so hyperactive? Sam, I'm full of beans. Been, what have you been eating? I'm full of beans. Yeah. Puppy breath. Okay, now we're going to try and get the last of this off here. So, we're going to... So, that's as good as his head's going to get, you guys. I'm not going to keep pushing that. The crappy stuff's off. The knots are off. Everything's off there. Alright. Oh, 12.30. Time to practice the saxophone. Yep. Don't even get me started on that. Okay. So, we're going to go back to... Um, getting him tethered up again. I only said it as a joke. <laughs> well, I haven't forgotten. If you want some context, you guys, we only had like 12 weeks to build this salon. Was it 12 the, weeks? The room we're currently in now, we built this um, together. Before I would have some major issues with earning any money. So, we are. For, I'm working two jobs at this time. We've got the four kids. Dale's working his jobs. We're just absolutely grinding every which way we possibly can. To get this, this place and finished. Then after we're finished doing all of the working hours that we've got, we're out here building this place. And on the weekends, that's all we do for weeks and weeks. And that alarm goes off. And this fool, when we're like at the end of our 12 weeks, says... <laughs> In the middle of building, he stops everything. He stops every. I gotta move this so you can see my face. He stops everything, tools down, and says, "I'm just gonna go practice my saxophone for an hour." The alarm went off. And he did. He went inside, and I he did. You not. did. He went inside, and he started playing saxophone while I'm out here, working my butt off. I'm sorry. Putting working in insulation. Working my butt off, and he just left me to go and play saxophone. What a joke. Mm. What a joke. Alright, so you come and keep this end happy. Let me let me take this. Are we gonna hang him up on your feet or not? Yeah. Woo! Watch the Wee. Okay. No, but I mean hang him. Yeah, we're gonna Where's put him in this little hammock. Where's your hammock? Well we're not worrying about that yet. We're gonna worry about this and that. Okay. But this would be better up here. Let's put it there then. There you go, my handsome dude. You're stopping from spinning around, see? So I'm actually going to take this off. No, um, leave it. No, no, I need to get in here. Oh, no. Yeah, so can you just, like, actually just hang on to it, like, keep him still? Can you guys see? I'll entertain this end. Oh, look at you. Right, you just keep that snappy end busy. Oh, my goodness, he just walked straight out of it. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. you got to keep him tugged on that side. Talk, no, don't, not his ears, that irritates him. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I don't think you were thinking. Hello. Surely that feels good. Yeah, I know you guys can't really see much. Sorry about that. Okay, 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 okay. Back it up, back it up. See this? i got to get this off. Yeah, we'll go for it. Just go for it? Yeah, just go for it. Keep planning. Get it in there. Don't stop planning. Get it in there. Yeah, I'm diverting his attention. And you change blades. See, love. Love conquers love all. Love conquers all. Let's bring that in the middle of us. That's right. You sure? Because they can't see what I'm doing here. Oh, not you. Oh, you're going to bring it in the middle of us? Great idea. <laughs> uh, you just touch here. Dale's going to... 
So we had a grass seed in around his testicles earlier Ooh. too. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna come back that one. You gotta hold it. your end. Okay. Keep pats, keep petting, keep yeah, petting. I am, I am, I am. Just watch out for everybody. Mm -hmm. That I can't quite get off. It's gonna be after a bath. I'm tidy up down here. So um, I I dare say Mum's not gonna be that upset about him not being super tidy you got a hold of him yep because we did talk about the fact that we just need to keep it simple and just get him tidy we knew that already okay so leave that there leave that there you reckon yeah i'm gonna do his butthole oh okay and we want a good close-in shot of that <laughs> no we don't ready <laughs> okay unwind him we go this way oh he's Ooh, twisted up way. there you go i didn't yeah that's So, I'm going to shove him back there. I'm going to loosen that just a tiny bit because it's really a little bit. I don't think it matters how loose it is. He just continues to pull. Okay, zoom right in. No, don't zoom right in. Just leave it where it is. Okay. You just entertain the dog because he's going to be mad. He's going to be mad. Yeah. Well, I would be mad too if someone... Can you hold that there for me? Yep. Okay, pats. Lots I'm of coming. pats. Hello. Okay, we don't want to catch any butthole skin because that causes a lot of discomfort. <laughs> really? Really. They can get infections and stuff too, so if you're doing this yeah. at home, you guys, oh my goodness, be so careful. How about this? Yeah, bring it through a groomer. If you're trying to trim butthole hairs just like for um, sanitary purposes at home, don't go close like what your groomer does. Okay? Especially when you can't tether them down and support them the same way. Stay there, because I'm just going to swap blades and do the base of his tail. You're doing so good, Obi. I'm so glad he likes you. Like, he was doing really good with me. Yep. Um, and you'll see when we get to his feet how mad he's going to get. Yeah. But that sort of, he was over me then. Once I did that, he didn't want to be around me. Well, I'll have to see the video, because I don't believe you. Yeah, you don't know what you're actually um, in for right now. No. We didn't talk about whether we we're going to leave his tail long or not. Leave it long. Start brushing it out. Probably easier to brush it out. Because there's some mats there. If it, when, you, when you hang him up, you can brush his tail out. I don't know. Like, because we're trying to create positive brushing at home. So we might... I reckon we just take it off and start again with that. Because that's a lot of matting there to get out to start with. So that's going to make him upset about his tail already. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be sore. So we just take it off. Start again. It grows back. Let me tell you, these guys come in so regularly because it just bloody keeps growing. It doesn't slow down. Ooh. What? Oh, just touch the screen, you'll be able to see what. Okay, we do want to be gentle. We don't want to catch the end of that tail and the clipper blade either. There we go. Okay. Nice and tidy. Oh. Now it's time for... The feet. The feetsies. I'm doing so well, aren't I, Obi? <laughs> You're doing amazing. Okay, while he's like this, I'm going to try and do the back foot on this side. Just this foot here, I'm gonna do that one. And um, just, just try and like keep him calm. It hurts, that's why he's gonna be mean about it. Oh, because it pulls. It really, yeah, and it's tight. Yeah. So I've got a number 10, not a seven, so it's shorter than this. Um, and he, look at him, he's already starting to get guarded. Did you see yeah. him change just now? Okay. Oh. Do you want me to put a tighter muzzle on? Um, I don't know yet, just go for it. Okay. Do you want this just to look at his leg or you want to look at his whole reaction? All right, you focus on him. Because I'm not, I'm focusing on this part. He just wants the pats. He looks like he's going to sleep. Good boy, Obi, good boy. He's tensing up now. He's going to sleep. 
These mats on the toes, super sensitive. Good boy. Good boy. You're doing so good. I'm proud of you, Obi. I don't even know what's going on down there then. Well, thank goodness for you. He's so cute. He mm. wasn't the worst about his back feet, it was the front. I don't know what Carly's talking about. Maybe I'm overreacting today, maybe I'm a little bit dramatic. That's always possible. Mm. Maybe. But, you know, we got him calm. That's what matters to me. Well, he does having... have, he is a dog and he does have pointy things in his mouth, which are... Can. So long as he's calm, that's all I'm at. Like, I don't want to have a dog in here all stressed out Can't and stuff. Hold him. Okay, so we are going to pop him in a sling to do his front legs because, well, this is going to be hard enough as it is. It's just going to offer us a little bit more control over the situation, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't have the opposite effect and just really pee him off. Um, I have used this in other videos that I don't know that we've actually posted at this stage. Yeah, so there's one. It's one um, of the very first ones we did. I don't like this sling. I'll be 100% about that. I don't like it, but it's what I've got. So um, I would like to upgrade it. Come here. Oh, I don't want to squash your nukas. So just remember, he can still bite if he chooses to in that, that muzzle. It's just a very big, loose one. Lift his foot up. <laughs> there we go. Oop. Oop. Hang on, slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Okay, chill. Calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, so just pop that over his head on your side. That's it. And then I'll just work out my side. It's just like a winter jacket, that's all. Poop his little tail there. All right. Oh, I know, honey. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this. Mm -hmm. Actually, you just stay there. Um, this is why I don't like this sling, you guys, because it's a pain in the ass. It is. is it? Yep. Take that one. See that? Right. Plug it in. Okay, now grab that one and put it through. Okay, so you just keep him in. Okay. Got it. Then you gotta take this off. Got it. <laughs> it's like a big nappy. You just keep him calm for a minute. <laughs> Look at you. Try not to move him around too much. He feels really unstable. I know, my love. I know. No, I'll just hold this. Yeah, I'm going to use this anyway. Because he is actual going to thrush around like a lunatic. Yeah, but I'll just, like what I've done in the past, I grab them by the back legs here just to... So what we're going to do is quickly, um, I'll bring you guys around the front so you can see what's happening. Dale's going to work from behind maybe, we'll see how we go. Just so we'll just try a couple of options and find something that works for our young man here. So he's going to get a tighter muzzle. What size is that? One. Where's two? Hmm. Old bones. Says two. Okay, so obviously he's anxious already. We know that. Stop that, stop that. Oh, he's got his leg in here. He's got his leg in. Let's see. Well, can we get a muzzle on him before you do that? Okay, because just one so little pull of hair is something that's going to aggravate him already. Does he, he's got his foot here. Yep. And he's pushing it down. Okay. So I actually need to keep these together here to stop anything. Okay, so a bit of stuffing around here, but it's just going to make it easier to get this next part done. 
for him as quickly as we can. Come on now. Oh, fast boy. You're fast. Did we stretch it enough? Yes, but these are in the way. Okay. So we do want this tight. It is only going to be on for the duration of doing this one procedure of getting his front leg shaved. So you guys, I get a lot of comments of people that really hate the muzzle, okay? They find it hard to watch and Don't think agree. of it as a cruel act to do to the dog. And I really understand where you are coming from and how you, it, you feel when you see this. It is sad, okay? Don't mistake me. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand that 100%. But what is sadder is a dog that gets euthanized for aggressively attacking somebody, okay? So we're going to do what's right for him and keep him safe. What's sadder is a dog that bites a clipper blade and half their tongue gets cut off, okay? Please, please, please try and understand that all of this is only in the best interest of the dog. This is going to be hard to watch. Depending on how upset he gets. Now I've got my 10 on, that's ultra short. We've done everything we can to put him in a position where he can't really move and I'm hoping that helps him to know that he just has to let this get done. So far, so good. Okay. Talk to him, Dale. Oh, ah, uh, um, uh, that's weather today. Good, isn't it? Uh, you just looked out the window. <laughs> I did and I looked at the camera as in like, what is wrong with my husband? Yeah. It's okay, Obi. It's okay. You know what, mate? Here, let me have this. You could do his claws while you're walking around. Oh, don't do that, mate. You'll hurt yourself. Okay. Just tighten that up a little bit. Keep him in there. Keep him safe. Yeah. Okay, so... You can come down this side. Keep talking. The, um, tell him, just tell him you're just I was just thinking job. about... Uh, like tying a creature down like this like when you were giving birth and we were talking to you and <laughs> keeping you keeping you keeping me calm keeping you calm was that acting like a creature was i like you wanted to have the epidural but it was too late and let me tell you something unless you've given birth to whole humans you don't get a say I've you don't been, get to talk I've about been that four of them five of them five of them yeah so, and you still have no idea. I, I know very well. Do you? Mm. I don't think you do. I don't think he does, Obi. I don't think he does, Obi. Okay, you're doing so good, my boy. I'm proud of you. I am. He's really doing better with you here. I hate to say it. I like to be the star of my own show, but I think you just kind of take the cake on this one, Dale. Mm -hmm. So before I said thumb, if you haven't given a thumbs up already, give a thumbs up for Obi because of how hard he was trying to be a good boy, but... Subscribe for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was going to say thumbs up for Dale, but hey, let's hit that subscribe button for Dale. <laughs> Dale is scared of dogs. Oh yeah. He is scared of dogs, but I've had to have him come in and help me a few times now with these really tough dogs. Not big dogs, only little dogs and, and kitty cats, cats. cats as well. You won't get him in here for a big dog groom. No, if this, dog was... <laughs> if this dog was a German Shepherd, Dale would not be in this room. <laughs> um, so he's really trying to, Dale's a good boy too. He is really trying to overcome some of those um, fears, uh, very understandable fears, mind you, to uh, help me to help these beautiful little puppies that just need a bit of love and a bit of support. A little bit of extra something to help him just get through something that's, you know, this is a hard day for this doggy. <laughs> it's a hard it's day. It's so hard. Just to hang around, you know. He's like, it's like he's in a hammock. And he's doing so well. I mean, he was like mean, mean before. He's just given in. That, that means oh. like this, this whole setup here, it seems ridiculous. But look at the difference between when I first tried to do this and how he's just kind of... I mean, we don't want dogs to just give in and give up, but if it's going to mean he safely get all of this knots off of him, then we do want that. We want to do that for him. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, I know, Obi. I'm listening. There we go, there we go. I can hear you. Yeah, all right, mate. Hey, don't stop. Oh. I stop because I have to. Don't lose that well, contact. Well, he was <laughs> Are you trying to run away? No. He's running away. Oh, no. Look at him. He's trying to run away from the growling oh, doggy. No. Run away! Uh, or because if you've got your growlers on, you mind your growlers. Well, you said before, if I move my hands away, you get my, yours away. And oh. I'm just like, <laughs> way to throw my own words back at me. I'll take that. I did say that. Okay, I wasn't moving my hands because he was growling. I was moving my hands because I was, because uh, I'm the one doing the things he doesn't like. Get the room. Uh, I won't get through this. Thickness. So we're not going to get right into these paw pads, you guys. I'm just going to try and pick up the few little mats that I can. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. I think it just tickles. Somebody what? asked me in the comments on a video, I can't remember which one, um, if dogs get, if they've got ticklish feet. God, yes they have. They do. Not all dogs, but in general, if they're pulling away and kicking, it's because it tickles. See? It's the same as humans. Uh, it's not necessarily funny. I get angry if somebody tickles me. <laughs> I get grumpy about it. Yes, she does. I don't like being tickled. But, um, yes, dogs can react in the same involuntary way that humans do when our feet get touched. It is ticklish. Calm down. See his body change when you get, he's already anxious before you've even done anything. Poor baby. Oh my goodness, what happened? He moved in a funny way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh honey, that made me sad. I don't want this out because you're going to feel better when it's out. It's going to be like wearing a new pair of shoes. Oh. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Calm down. I know, Obi. I know. You've got a tangle in there. That's all. Okay. Okay. That's my hands. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just going to have a little peek at his nails. Fortunately, they really are not bad. So I'm just going to pick the ones that are on the longer side and do those. And we'll just roll with what we can do. Oh, he's waggling his tail. I don't know if it's a good thing. Actually, cats. When the cats waggle their tails, when the cats waggle the tail. you want to watch out for them throwing murder mittens. When a doggy wags his tails, you want to fall in love with him. The cat waggle, waggle his uh, tail waggle is like a, uh, a snake about to strike. Boop, boop, boop. What a good boy. What a good boy. I know, we're nearly there. So You're close. nearly there. So, um, he's not like a really super dirty dog. Like, as I said earlier, this is not a neglected dog. This is just, um, oh, sorry, I'm sorry to say it, mum and dad. It comes down to being a little bit inexperienced with the breed, for one, with knowing how much brushing and when they're having coat changes and how their coat um, grows over the year of their life, the first year of their life. So that's a little bit of inexperience. Uh, it comes down to um, his behavior and temperament towards brushing. And that even though like for a long time, everything was going really well, he's had this big shift in his hormones and he's just matured and everything's become really difficult, um, which mum knows she's quite happy to understand that that's a big contributor to this. So, um, you know, that's made it really hard. And then, of course, things got out of hand and that matting just got worse and worse, but faster than they could do a little bit of brushing each day or, you know, try to stay on top of it. So, um, 
Not a neglected dog here, okay? This is just a bit of bad luck. Everything came together all in the wrong way. Perfect storm scenario. So, um, okay. He's not, um, he's not overly dirty. So I think what I was trying to say before I distracted myself is that um, I'm not gonna record his bath. No, no, they want that. You wanna record yeah, the bath? This has been a very long video. That's right. You sure? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll record the bath. I'm an advocate for the bath. All right, we'll record the bath, but he's not overly dirty. Um, and from memory, he's not bad with the bath, but goodness, who knows what? Who knows? Just All right. Going. Going. So my little man here has done really well. We're gonna take him down from the sling now. I'm gonna leave this stuff on just so he doesn't kind of get like cranky while we're getting him down. Down, down, down. I'm gonna keep him. One small step for dog, one giant leap for mankind. Okay, just undo this one so that that can fall down. I know, I'm gonna take that off for you in just a minute. Okay, are you ready? Okay. You wanna grab it, ready? Let me do Grab oh, the Just take everything out of the way. Just put it on the bench over there. All right, all right. You want me to take that off? Ready? Don't fall off the table. Okay. Hello. Okay. Where have you been? You want me to get that muzzle off? Okay, look. Stop. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I know what that... Okay, stop. Okay. Stop. I want to take this off for you. You ready? Stop. Stop. Uh, yeah. Stop pulling on it. How are you feeling? A little bit better? So after his bath and blow dry, as tempting as it's going to be, I'm not going to really tidy much up. Only just anything that looks really totally wild, okay? Because I don't want—I want him to finish this on a nice, positive note, feeling good, feeling loved. I don't want to get to a point where he's totally lost it and I call it quits. I want to get to a point where he's happy and comfortable, and then we say, "Okay, you're all done," and he gets to go home feeling like. A pampered little prince. <laughs> Alright. Bath right. time? Yeah. Alright guys, we'll go get the bath ready and we'll pop back once that's done. Calm down. He is very excited. Pop in the bath. Oh my word, he's so excited. Up now. Oh, those nails are sharp after I cut them. I normally do nails at the end so they don't work me up. Obviously getting baths at home. I mean, he's not neglected in any way, you guys. He's a much loved family pet. Things have just gone a little bit haywire. So we're really gonna support everybody to get um, things back on track if we can. Hopefully I'm not splashing you guys too much. So I have put D Shed shampoo in because it's just gonna help with softening up anything that's still tangled if there is anything left that shouldn't be too much. We were able to get a lot off. We've been at this for a long little while. So at this point, we just want to get him clean and dried and tidy up any sort of really easily accessible parts without stressing him out. And just finish him up and get him home. And he's going to have to be tidied up on a, on a secondary groom later on. Good 
job, buddy. Good job. rip up my arms if he does that so I'm just working around him for the moment where his paws are on the edge of the bath and not all over my arms. So it's not ideal but you know if it works it works. Okay. Alright you get down now so I can do your bath. Good boy. Second, he sees an opening to jump up. He's going to jump up. Um, and with his ears, I'm not going to go sticking anything in his ears today, okay? I'm not cleaning them. I'm not pulling any hairs out. I'm going to recommend to mum that he go for a visit, see the vet. Just make sure there's no infection in there because his eyes are quite red. That is a little, I mean, it could just be that he's got allergies or it's just normal for him. Um, but I'm just a little bit concerned to see his, the whites of his eyes so red. Um, yeah, they're quite red and those little eyelids and stuff. So. You know, I'd rather just be safe and get him checked out and not do anything that could put even more moisture in that ear or irritate something. And I definitely don't want to do anything that hurts him because that's the opposite of what we're trying to achieve. And there's a lot of hair in there and it's all matted. So I know lots of groomers do these like big full on ear plucking videos and stuff. I am rainbows and peace and love and all that sort of stuff. I believe that ear care is internal medicine and that it's best done by the vet, okay? Because you can make things worse. You can make things so much worse if you get it wrong. And, uh, well, I don't like to do that. And um, when you're working with dogs like this, um, these guys come back to me again and again and again. So we want to work on building trust and um, having dogs that feel safe and comfortable and know that you're going to do the right thing for them. And that they're not coming in here to be hurt. That's what we want. As a long-term solution to this behavior, The long-term solution is to teach this guy to be groomed again without all that carry-on. All right, just calm down now. Sorry guys, I kicked that. Oops, that was too much. A little bit of conditioner. A little bit too much conditioner since there's not really any hair left on ya. There we go. Come on, you wanna hop down? You wanna hop down? Stop, calm down, calm down. Good boy, let me do this. Let me do my job. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. Oh. Not that. Yes. You good boy though. Huh? Mm. 
you know, if you were not standing up, we'd be able to do this a bit easier. That's it, good boy. Stop that, let me get you clean. watching him shake off all of his water. Okay, bring this down just a touch. There we go. Alright, we're gonna go get our doggy. wild. Too slow. At least my face isn't captured in this one. No. Yeah, I'm going to towel dry you. You're going to let me too. Because the more we towel dry you, the less we have to blow dry you. Oh my goodness. Good golly. Good golly. Yeah, I know. I'm excited too, because it means we're nearly done. Oh, let me dry you. Let me dry you. So good, huh? I bet you just feel a lot better in general. Surely you'd have to feel pretty good. You'd have to feel pretty good at this point. Come here, come on. Good boy. You are very welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, you gotta just try to calm down a little bit, okay? Calm down, calm down. Okay, I know, I know. Are you so happy? Are you pretty happy about this? Oh yeah, is that good? Is that good? <laughs> I know, I know. These legs are dry, I know. You're welcome, okay? You are very welcome. I'm happy that I could help you today. You kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But not on the mouth, okay? All right, we're gonna blow dry now. So blow dryer, it's loud. Um, cue some music from Dolly Sparkles, maybe. You can find him on his own YouTube page, by the way, uh, if you're interested in his music. Ready?
just not going to get all those other areas dried. And that's fine. That's fine. Gonna tidy a few things up. Nothing major, right? Little things. Little things. Right? You gonna let me do that for you? I'm gonna take this man away. There we go. Stay there. Stay. Oh, he did go off the edge of the table. It's my worst bloody nightmare. But we caught him, he caught himself. So that's okay, that's good. So we are just gonna do that little peaceful tidy up that we talked about. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this together now, all right? Nothing major, remember? Calm down, calm down. So we just have like some chunks of hair and stuff. Yeah. Get rid of those. Come on now. Just here, okay? Just relax. So I'm not overly concerned about his overall appearance, but, um, you know, obviously as a groomer, it's kind of my job to make dogs look good when they leave my salon. So when we've got ones like this, I do find it hard to call it quits um, without, you know, having an end result that I know the customer's gonna be actually happy with, um, not just settling for because they know that was the best we could do. We're not going to get all the way down these legs here. That's not happening. All right. I'm not doing much of anything. I don't want him to bite me, but I also don't want to put a muzzle on him right now. Just relax, mate. That's all. You did good. You did pretty good. So I am still managing his head a, a little bit. Okay, I don't want him to bite me. He could still just snap, not because of the pulls, because it's what he's used to doing when something touches that area. Habit. I see that a lot. There's nothing painful, but there was once before. Can we turn around? Just so I can get in here a little bit better. That's it. I'm gonna hold you here. Stay, 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 good boy. I'm not gonna touch your arm, I'm just gonna go under here, all right? Good boy. So we're not really trying to achieve much. Just a little tidy up. That's it, that's it. We don't want to break any of that trust that we've just built back up with the nice bath. Just those extra hairs that stand up and don't quite get picked up the way you want them to. That's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> that was good timing. Battery died. So, um, as I was saying, I think that's it. I think that is a... Um, We've achieved what we needed to achieve. There's no more matting. There's no more um, 
discomfort or anything. There's no grass seeds. Um, the, the ears that we're referring on to the vet for that, okay? So, um, you know, overall from the groomer perspective, it's, it doesn't look great, okay? There's hairs on the toots. There's the, the face, the whole face. Um, it's a bit stressful for me to send a dog out like this, but it is, um, you know, he's been through enough. We can bring him back and give him a tidy groom up in a couple of weeks, in six to eight weeks, whatever. He can come back, we can tidy up. I'm gonna give you a little brush, okay? And you're gonna be nice about it. Ready? Good boy. Oh, is that so good? Hey, okay, how's that? Hurt? Yeah, a bit nicer. Mum's gonna keep brushing him at home even though there's not really that much to brush, okay? We're gonna build up those positive relationships with that brush again and show him that it doesn't hurt. And mum, when you're doing his brushing and he's starting to get a little bit on edge, right? Do that hand muzzle and make sure you can see. Okay, I'm just gonna calm him down. I'm gonna bring our hands over. Calm down. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Don't fight him, just let him calm down. Okay, ready? Stop, you can brush. And then go ahead and get that brushing done, all right? It's gonna protect yourself a little bit. Gonna, and I'm not holding his head up, he's doing that. All right, just gain a little bit more control. Uh, uh, uh. And just keep working with him till he's getting better. Start off with his back and the parts that aren't, aren't trouble for him and build up into getting into those legs and things, all right? Keep, just stick to it, stick to your guns. Do the best that you can, okay? And then when you're gonna let go of his muzzle, gently tell him you've been a good boy, thank you. You've been a good boy, all right? You can build up a positive um, experience around that hand muzzle as well, so that he can settle into you being able to do that without trying to bite your fingers or anything. It just takes time and persistence, all right? Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video and the content that we've put out today. I know it can be hard to watch. I promise you everything I've done is just with the greatest love and respect for this little guy to try and help him to feel better. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're growing our channel quite fast, I might I add, but um, we really appreciate having everyone uh, following along and joining the fur family. Um, give us a thumbs up on the video, thumbs up for Obi, thumbs up for Dale who's come out here to give us a hand earlier and um, give us a drop, a, drop in in the comments and uh, let us know what you thought of our video today uh, and any suggestions and things. I do my best to answer everybody's comments so um, say hi, let us know where you're commenting from and um, I will do my best to get back to all of you. I hope everybody has a lovely day or night wherever you are and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks guys, bye. You guys say bye. You ready to go home? You ready to go home to mum? Yeah, I know. You did a good job. Mm, you did such a good job. You really did. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. I am. Good boy. All right. Let's pack up. Let's go ring mum. Stay there. <laughs>